Hi everybody, how are you all? Welcome to day four. Yeah, day four of After Hours with Mushkaleem. I hope you're all doing well. Um, for all those people who come in live just to support us, thank you so much. Um, I hope you're all doing, I'm doing a good job. Um, so yeah, today's guest is, uh, needs no introduction, has been making marks after marks in the acting industry. Not only has he been in the acting industry, but also in the fashion industry and has had a very, very successful career. So without further ado, I'm going to call in everybody's favorite, Imad Irpani. So let me just quickly find him and connect with him. And I hope this time my Instagram does not... Okay, I have him. Okay. Um, Imad, I cannot find your request. Yeah, I'm very excited for today um, because Imad is also one of my favorite celebrities. So I'm really, really excited about interviewing him and we have him online. Hi, Imad. Hey, Mushk, how are you? Yeah, Hello. very well, very well. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much. I was just rushing in, sitting because once I give a commitment to someone, then I'm, I know I'm a man of my word. Yeah. That is so nice. And that is also a rarity. You don't find a lot of people in the industry who are, you know, nice and disciplined about time. I'll make no comments about that. I'll just speak for myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imad, um, so I, uh, yesterday when I launched you on my profile, there were so many people who were messaging me left, right and center and they were so excited. And I was so mm. excited and I'm so glad you're here. Mm. So mm. let's just begin. Tell me, how is the lockdown treating you? Uh, well, I guess uh, change is constant in everyone's life and world. But this kind of change, no one expected it to be the way it is. So yeah. you had to make a lot of adjustments. That's what life is all about, making adjustments, problem solving, and responding to what it throws at you. Because I believe every level of your life will throw a lot of challenges, problems, and you have to be the one who's uh, smart and prepared enough to meet your, those challenges. I honestly feel so, yeah. nobody in Pakistan was prepared for this kind of lockdown. I mean, people can't go Nobody in the food. world. And especially for you, I mean, I, I obviously I see what you do and I see your Instagram feed and I know you're very, very disciplined with your fitness, with your lifestyle. How is that going on with the lifestyle, with, with the lockdown? Uh, it's a setback. But what do you do with a setback? You learn and you keep on moving forward. But yeah, one has to be very careful. It's a very ominous situation that faces us. I think for generations, kisi ne bhi is tarah ki is magnitude ki cheez nahi dekhi hai. Not or, at all. Uh, yeah, no one has a clue how to go out of it because it's a very, very. Uh, what can I say? I mean, with with a war, you have an enemy, a physical enemy, but this is an invisible enemy that everyone is facing, <laughs> and and I hope you get out of it because. Um, I feel for the people who are losing jobs, um, yeah. the, yeah, the, yeah, underprivileged or, uh, I feel for them. I mean, uh, I feel lucky that maybe I can afford two, three months ki break, uh, yeah. but there are a lot of people who, who cannot afford even two, three ki break. Yeah. But you know, this is uh, where all of us come together and there are so many people who are asking for donations and it's so nice to see Pakistan come into action at the time of the need. And uh, yeah, I mean, but we're all hoping and praying that this goes down. But I feel like what's worse than the lockdown is you still managing to stay fit while everybody's sitting at home, stuffing their faces with food. And every single day you upload your fitness meter. And <laughs> I, I think it puts everybody... I just don't want to lose feet. my gains. I just don't want to lose my gains. So I just make the effort. Uh, the parks are closed. The gyms are closed. Obviously, you have to then go on the roadside. And even then, I'm being very careful. I'm, I'm coming into yeah. no human contact. Uh, I'm being precise of not touching anything. So, yeah, these are the SOPs one has to take. Imagine you're mean, not uh, touching anything, but you're constantly touching your face. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess the, the characteristics <laughs> of an actor are coming in. Now I'm playing a role on a close-up. I see my close-up, I start doing these things. <laughs> <laughs> comes, comes with yeah. the work, I'm sure. So, Imad, speaking of work... Occupational um, hazard. Hmm. Occupational yeah, sorry. hazard and speaking of occupation, yeah. 
tell us about your journey so you've not only uh, just been very very successful in the acting industry you've also been a very successful model and i don't think that's a thing a lot of people know especially your new followers who uh, hmm. who are keen on knowing about you so tell me tell me hmm. about modeling and acting both okay to be honest with you it started 18 years ago wow i mean wow. seems like a lifetime another lifetime i started modeling in 2002 and um, probably i always had these aspirations and goals to be where i am today like and i never allowed myself to believe that i can do this because aapke beliefs are something that make you achieve anything you you're yeah. always a result of the things you allow yourself to believe yeah and uh, so i started in 2002 and i was studying at that time per um, and was your later when i graduated you? Was well, it supported? Yes, they were supported. My mom gave the money to get the portfolio made by Atish Azad. And, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So exactly tw- uh, 18 years ago, Feb 2002, the journey started. Then, at that time, industry was not so big. So my goals were not so big. I was playing small. Uh, I I was studying. I Ma, did my I masters. Never believe you. saying this i just will not believe you saying this because mashallah mm. say like you've had a very successful career so i mean i'm sure yeah, i wanted to be on the i wanted to be on the big table like 6 7 years ago na fir aapki aspirations aapke goals with time with experience change hote hain yeah. so um ye the, the modeling was just something i was not very you can say it was not the first priority yeah it was something on the side i was doing yeah so i graduated then i started working in a corporate firm Uh, as a senior marketing manager marketing uh, and uh, finance for my majors so udhar maine 3 saal kaam kiya 2.5 saal 3 saal kaam kiya 2010 i resigned from there i left the job and somewhere around 2011 12 i thought ke why not acting i have wow. a foundation of 9 to 10 years of modeling it's yeah. going to be if not easier at least i will have a head start i will have yeah. an edge Uh, yeah. instead of a totally newcomer wanting to make make his mark yeah lekin i started from a scratch because the 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 training of an actor is totally different from a training of a model or a marketing 100%. person who works in you a know, corporate sector yeah i feel like every time even when uh, models are usually asked this question ke uh, when are you going to go into acting i feel like it is so difficult for models to come out of that model category and transition into the acting category so the people uh, you know take you seriously because i mean modeling and acting are two completely different things hmm hmm bilkul similarities hain action uh, camera lighting poses yeah. glamour uh, uh, personalities similarities hain yeah. lekin um, acting is i mean effective acting does not come from coincidence or chance you have to work very hard at it yeah and how has acting so journey has... yeah so going back on the journey yeah 2011 12 mein i i i said ke why not acting and i you see once you make a mindset ke yeah. mujhe kuch cheez karni hai then phir aapko pata hai ke ab bahut se uh, <laughs> challenges aayenge obstacles aayenge criticism aayega और एक्टिंग तो एक ऐसी चीज है कि हर किसी को उस पर अथॉरिटी है आई मीन एवरीवन मेक्स मेक्स अ स्टेटमेंट अबाउट इट सो यू हैव टू बी फॉर समवन लाइक मी हु वाज नॉट वेरी एक्सप्रेसिव और यू कैन से वेरी क्या कह सकते हैं उसको नेचुरल नेचुरल एट एक्सप्रेसिंग इमोशंस और नेचुरल I I've always had this uh, uh, ability in performing arts like that used to be when I was playing cricket or football so I I I always thought that I was very natural in those uh, aspect of performing arts but not this this was something uh, I had to get uh, over a lot of my fears I had yeah. to um, convince myself that I can do it if I work hard so waha se fir ek study ek formation shuru hui ki ek actor apne craft ko kaise approach karta hai kya tools chahiye hote hain what are the what are the things you need to work on what are the things that you have going for you as strengths and what are yeah. the things that are not going for you as weaknesses swot analysis so yeah it's been now uh, seven and a half years almost seven years sorry wow yeah so out of these seven years what have been the highlight for you the acting highlight the thing that you're going to take with you to the end of your life 
I, I guess every day makes you learn something. Yeah. You, I mean, uh, performance may. Uh, it, it's why it's called performing arts, and why you call artists because you have this uniqueness about you that only you. Let's say a dialogue here. I'll say it differently. You might say it differently. So it's it's a, it's an expression, and I, I believe her art jo hai related hai. Uh, I'm a big music music follower. I love music. I think I was uh, one of my first Your loves was Instagram music. Highlights are music. Just by the way, I realize. I, I would say highlights. Instagram are music highlights. You say captions, right? Yes. No. Like I, I, I mean, you have Bon Jovi and you have all these old age songs that I've never heard. <laughs> I tried. They're not old them. age. They're not old age by any any they're, means. They're, they're the classics. Kind of evergreen. Evergreen. Classics. Yeah, classics. Yeah, classics. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, As I said, that her arts, jo hai, were related hai. So when I dabble becoming an actor, yeah. I started following all the influences that I've had. Yeah. As a child, as an adolescent, as a teenager, because yeah. these are all the influences that make you who you are. And Hundred percent. Yeah. These are all the storytellers who have impacted me, and I, I look up to them. I I may not have never met them, but I've learned a lot from them. I Brush a lot of inspiration from them. So, Iman, I mean, you're so passionate about music. I literally forgot that you are not a musician and that you're an actor, and I completely dozed off for a minute. But while we are on right. the okay. subject of your profession, just tell me, do you mm-hmm. have any plans of working from behind the lens, behind the camera, with regards to you know creating films or directing dramas? Has that ever struck you? uh i don't have the aspirations right now okay. but you never know it might inspire me and that's the mystery of inspiration something just inspires you instantly something yeah. takes its time it's slow sweet time and then you get inspired and then you realize ke how much hard work i need to do in 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 order to be that person yeah so personal development is is that right you achieve one goal then you make another goal for yourself and you want to achieve that goal so it's like preparation attitude um, opportunity and then action yeah. so you yeah. keep on repeating this formula and whatever you aspire to be uh, you can be if 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 you're if you're willing to work hard it all comes <laughs> down to one thing discipline constant discipline working hard at it and wanting to do that thing because motivation aapko koi aur nahi de sakta you have to have that inner burning desire that has to come from within yeah and and i feel like mashallah you're you're having uh, such a successful um acting career um so uh, imad how is it for you i mean when you are you give you're given a role how do you immerse yourself into that character and how does it i mean you know what they say about actors like it's difficult for them to come out of their actual character in, in their normal lives so tell me does acting mm-hmm. really have that kind of impact on you um you see uh, once you're an actor you become an emotional athlete aap jazbaat aur ehsaasat ke khiladi ban jate ho so wow. you have to aapke andar se sare jo bhi ye emotions experiences hote hain it all starts and ends with you because uh, as an actor only your unique personality traits characteristics you have to offer so yeah it does it, it does kabhi kabhi you go into a dark place um yeah. thinking about the person thinking about the hurt the pain the depression um the turmoil he or she is going through yeah and and it's a very sensitive kind of a thing so uh, yeah i guess it does affect your personality um um once again i try to follow a lot of actors how they approach how they um, how they come out of it so these are all uh, it's all psychological i mean uh, i often say not claiming anything or some something uh, as actors we are we are psychologists or uh, without degrees because that's what we do we emote our characters yeah. who we've never lived who do we don't know but we have to make them interesting by our own characteristic and experiences and emotions most of all yeah and the good thing is i think along with acting you are also 
uh, quite involved in fashion. You have your fashion shoots. You come in as a showstopper for a lot of different designers, and and that's really commendable. I mean, it's, uh, it's that's too- that's not Imad the model. Imad, that's not Imad the model. That's Imad the present day, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I made a vote to myself that if I want to yeah. take acting seriously, I'll stop modeling. So that's what I did. Do you think you could do both of them together? You can because as a as an actor, your equity as a business really grows. Yeah. So, I mean, fashion shoots. I I don't want to. कोई बड़ी बात नहीं मैं करना चाहता. लेकिन I find them very easy now because I've been doing it for the last seventeen, eighteen years. so i yeah. find them very easy so yeah it's uh, it's something i enjoy it's uh, it's uh, easy work something uh, yeah. i have a lot of experience in now also imad uh, while we are on the topic of acting i read something very interesting so sunday times posted yesterday mm. that you mm. you already know what i'm getting to don't you yeah do you i i And yeah, I, I know. I saw that article that you're talking about. Yeah, uh, so you posted yesterday about you know you having to like getting this amazing opportunity to work in Bollywood, and then because of the political mm-hmm. conditions between Pakistan and India, obviously it couldn't materialize. So let's talk mm-hmm. about that. Do you want to talk about it? Huh? I do. Let's talk about I it because talk about it I, I I just have a little I just have a little apprehension talking about it because जो चीज नहीं हुई Uh, it just seems ke ab usko main public publicity ke liye use kar raha hu ya kuch lekin uh, ifat is a very good friend so yeah. in my circle people knew because i had spoken to few people when it happened yeah. like four years ago so uh, as luck would have it i ended up on a show she knew the fact and she asked me that question so that's how the whole thing has come again after four years knows. i mean it's on instagram it's on sunday times i'm the internet knows i think that's ah ha lekin if if for tumhe ke show pe mai gaya tha na udhar se thoda si conversation hui thi is bare mein uh it's a thing of a past yes every artist wants to play on the bigger platform uh hum as humans we have this very significant need to feel important and yeah. to grow to struggle and grow uh, yeah. if you look at stories uh, inherently we uh, resonate with stories of struggle because every human being knows what struggle is so as an artist we want to play on the bigger platform we want to join yeah. the industries that are bigger that yeah. have a big massive following yeah so it didn't happen it was it, at that time at that time i think that it was a setup uh, sorry yeah. setback uh said back tha lekin uh, now looking back at it i mean uh, i mean what's meant for you no one can take and what's not meant for you 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 can only control a certain things in, in your life you cannot control the out, outcomes of a lot of things so what you can control is your effort your attitude and uh, your emotional intelligence that's it wow i mean that is that is so much of positivity i mean i i also feel like because of the lockdown and also generally because of life it we struggle to uh, you know be positive and have a positive attitude especially because of the kind of industry we are in but it's so nice yeah. that you're so positive about it i mean how, how what inspires you emma to have this kind of attitude towards your work uh depression i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah social anxiety i'm just joking yeah so mm, I mean, I, I just want to be the best version of myself. I just want to uh, improve. I have this one person formula that I even uh, share with a lot of people. That if you want to improve at anything, make a goal to to improve one percent every day. Wow! And in twenty days, how, how much would you improve? Twenty percent. In hundred days, hundred percent. In three sixty-five days, you'll be improved three hundred sixty-five. percent so uh, i think i owe it to myself i owe it to the people who love me who believe in me to be the best version of myself and uh, uh, constant and never ending improvement is my formula i mean you have to keep on constantly uh, because what you don't know about personal growth or yeah. personal development is is already hurting you so i want to have all the information either say or say abad mein beshak main information discard kar dun lekin yeah. uh, things are in my control to work on myself and as an actor um your personality the work that you do on yourself it really shows 
I agree. I agree, one hundred percent. And uh, Iman, hmm. there's so many people who are uh, messaging and asking. Please ask Iman to tell us about your upcoming projects, and also tell us ha- has the lockdown actually um, wh- how what effect does it have on your work as of right now? I think it goes without saying that uh, uh, every every business, every work has been affected. So for now, I don't foresee any opportunity for the next two months at least until this thing fizzles down. Um, I don't see any commercials being launched or being shot because we have to maintain a certain protocol. So yes, it's been affected, but. uh or oh, once again i'm taking the setback uh, not letting it get to my uh, not letting it control me i mean what you can all do is be positive and optimistic about things uh, my upcoming project i just finished uh, a serial with big bang far nice. this was a director of that and um, i uh, shot with them for 50 55 days it concluded in january and it's by the title of jalan it's uh, minal khan it's with ariba habib uh, i play a very challenging role uh, the guy has shades different shades he's uh, um once again i i like uh, playing uh, psychological layers because that's very conducive for me as an artist as an actor yeah. uh, things that you've not done before taking risks and i think uh, i believe Okay, after the last role I did, I think it's going to be a little uh, different from that because every artist wants to wants to do something unique, something different. Yeah, and I think everybody wants like a taste of everything from the great Imadir Fani. We have so much love coming in for you. Also, oh, Imad, wow. really? uh, hmm. yeah, I mean, you uh, you should read all these people. They're just like talking about all the projects that you've been up to. Imad, so tell me, uh, you hmm. you you like music? You find a lot of inspiration from music. What is your hmm. quarantine playlist like for all those people who would want to know what Imad Firfani listens to? What is your quarantine playlist? Also, Ajkal in the last three four days, I'm really listening to Velvet Revolver. Velvet okay. Revolver is a group that uh, uh, one of my heroes slash. <laughs> okay, when Guns N' Roses <laughs> broke, uh, Guns N' Roses broke up. Slash Duff McKagan and Matt Sorum, the original members of Guns N' Roses, they made another group that was Velvet Revolver. and uh, they formed in 2003 2004 till 2008 or 9 and they became the biggest band in america also but at that time i was not very passionate about music so i had not heard a lot of their work oh. so now following them again it's like a rejuvenation rejuvenation of the uh, lost treasure that i found so i think one song that i'm really listening to is Uh, Fall to Pieces by Velvet Revolver. That's on my playlist. On my playlist is Limitless, the new song by Bon Jovi. Um, I always listen to a lot of Queen. Uh, I always listen to a lot of Guns N' Roses. So Guns N' Roses is yesterday's uh, Queen. I want it all. I was just listening to I Want It All on my run tonight to, uh, in the evening. That's great. Three or four or five songs. I feel like I haven't heard any of these songs, but I shall go and listen. I'm sure you have not. I have not, but I will listen to them during yeah. the of what you're listening to during the lockdown. So, Imad, okay. um, I just wanted to ask, as somebody, I, I've done theatre in the past, and there are a lot of people who are acting graduates who want to come on the big screen. What advice do you have for people who are looking to make it big, um, considering that there's already so much concentration of male actors in in the industry? Hmm. Belief. I mean, along this journey, there'll be a lot of people who tell you that क्या क्या काम कर रहे हो तुम्हारे इसमें कोई future नहीं है and a lot of inside demons that we have are also going to tell you that this is not the path. This is like a lottery ticket that you have, and uh, you have to keep on going. I, I I believe persistence. You have to be persistent with things because anyone can start something. Only a few can finish that. So yeah. be the finisher. Don't be the ditcher halfway. <laughs> if you if you want to if you really want to uh, make it big, ah, <sighs> yeah, follow your dreams. I mean, um, dreamers are achievers. So end of the day, maybe you won't get there, but you'll be doing something that you you're passionate about. So I, I believe that is success. I mean, wanting to you do know, something I, uh... and loving something that you do. 
Yeah, hundred. I'm sorry I interrupted you, but I it just came to my mind that I've interacted because I've done theater myself. There were quite a few people who had studied um, acting. Uh, do you think people who study acting have an edge over people who don't? Hmm. I think information helps. Yeah. Knowledge, information, theory helps, but it's the action that enriches you. It's the theory. I mean. Yeah, can enrich you, but it's the action that turn it into riches. So mm -hmm. you have to go out there, go out there, make a fool out out of yourself on that audition, <laughs> on that small role that you've been offered. Maybe that's the breakthrough. Maybe you meet someone, and I mean that's how it is. You have to make a lot of mistakes. I mean, uh, one hit wonders, yeah, uh, first hit wonders. They 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 all exist in fairy tales. रियल वर्ल्ड में मेरा नहीं ख्याल इसमें कि कोई कहानी एग्जिस्ट करती है सो यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू बी प्रिपेयर टू फॉल ऑन योर फेस अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स बिकॉज दैट इज व्हाट लाइफ इज ऑल अबाउट यू फॉल यू गेट अप यू फॉल यू गेट अप बिकॉज फॉलोइंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ गेटिंग बेटर आई आल्सो थिंक दैट दिस इंडस्ट्री इज प्रीटी अनफॉरगिवन डोंट यू थिंक इमाद अह एंटरटेनमेंट यू मीन यस आई मीन या even even someone who's made a mark uh, i mean entertainment ke andar phir cricketers bhi aa jate hain even sports industry it is like that that's the nature yeah. of the beast mushk i mean, I mean you're you... just as good as your last series you're just as good as your last show your last project i mean public memories are short um they might love you they might hate you but they certainly have short memories so uh, you have to be constantly reinventing evolving changing with times adapting new skills and uh, as as i said work on yourself as an equity take it take it seriously because whether you win or lose that series your matters uh, of the heart are serious the matters of the mind are serious so i have to take your life seriously yeah 100% and with that Imad, we've been speaking for quite some time. It's been so great to I've see you. I've been babbling and babbling. Sorry about that. I've been babbling no, and babbling. I just wanted to come across you. as someone who. There were so many people who wanted to know about you, who wanted to know about your journey, about what you have to say to upcoming, aspiring, budding actors. And yeah, the, I'm sure I would if if I would go into acting sooner or later. I, I am call, calling you up and asking you for advice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If I, I mean, sure. I was going to make a self-deprecating joke like an actor. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think yeah. that's all of us because of the lockdown. Just generally self-deprecating ourselves. Nah, no, probably. Yeah. All right, Imad. It's been great speaking to you. Best Are of luck to you. We can go on and on. <laughs> yeah, let's take a few questions if if there are any. Please, okay. if that's okay so with you. Yeah, let's let's for sure. I mean, as soon as so for everybody who's watching, we are willing to take questions for Imad. There were a lot of questions, and there was also mm -hmm. a request where people wanted you to sing something. Oh. And this has almost always been a request, Imad. So please. That's really, really. Just sing something. Yeah. No, there was some, there were people saying that they. And Nimra Khan's been asking about you. Ajay, I Nimra, how are you? We just we just did a commercial together. Yeah, yeah. There's so many people. Ajay, I, I can also I... see the comments. Yeah, of course you hmm. can. Ajay, you 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 were saying you were wanting to end the program, program, and I was like, yeah, 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 I was like, yeah so uh last last my passing a comment to all the budding people who want to join the industry whether they are vijays whether they are arjes whether they are models whether they want to become actors musicians preparation mind uh, belief opportunity action that's the formula it's just abc stuff that you want to keep on repeating and uh, sooner or later you're going to get somewhere so when discipline is uh, constant winning and success becomes incidental so keep at it be consistent whatever you want to achieve whether it's your fitness goals whether it's your career goals uh, just keep on working on the idea just keep on working on the pattern of information that you get yeah i i agree and uh, i i hope 
I wake up with the same kind of determination that you do. I mean, I'm lacking it, but I am going to find find that kind of inspiration in me. And Iman, you will, you will for sure. Absolutely lovely, except for the part where you refuse to sing. Otherwise, you've been very lovely yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and you, you're doing an absolutely splendid job hosting Thank and speaking you. to people. Thank you so much, Amat, and I will catch up with you soon in person once the lockdown's done and over with. And uh, yeah, you stay healthy and stay at home. And uh, please Thank don't. Thank you so much. Don't Thank you so much. You friends. have you have my best friend uh, Faisal Bhai tomorrow, right? Yes, we have Faisal yeah. Kapadia coming in tomorrow. He, what, what oh I wow! Mean, we 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 get along. I, I I he's like an inspiration. He's like this bada bhai that I never had. By the so, way, while yeah. I was speaking, he messaged and we were talking about fitness, and he said that you are one of the most disciplined people he knows. So while you were Achha. talking about what? Acha. In case Faisal bhai, you're watching. Thank you so much. I didn't see the comment <laughs> because yahan pe kam aate hain. Aapko zada aate hain uh, mushki screen mein. But Faisal bhai has been going live on Insta, and it's so refreshing to see him uh, being active on Insta because I've been asking him for a while now. So suddenly he's come and he's been very active. So good going, Faisal bhai. And with that, Imad, I'm I am sad, but I will have to say goodbye to you. It's yeah, please, amazing. please. Speaking to you. You take care, and I'll Likewise. see you very soon. Thank you, Mosh. Lovely speaking to you. Lovely Thank speaking you. to you. Bye. Bye. So, guys, that was Imad Irfani. Thank you so much for coming on live and being a part of this program. Um, so, as you heard Imad say, you can you can actually hear my voice get squeaky because I'm so super excited for my guest tomorrow. It is Faisal Kapadia. from strings and i am so excited to be interviewing him he is a music icon i know i have so many interesting questions that i want to ask him and uh, yeah all those people who've grown up listening to strings like myself my family everybody around me please make sure you like you come in tomorrow to see the live session with faisal kapadia from strings And yeah I'll see you all tomorrow at 9 p.m. This is Mushkaleem signing off from After Hours with Mushkaleem. Mm. Take care you guys and stay home. I forgot to mention that.